Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video. In this video today I will be giving you a story time and from you guys saw in the title, this is about the time that I didn't know I was in a relationship. And this guy was beyond crazy. When I say beyond crazy, I think he needed to be in a mental institution. Just saying, just saying and he just might see this video because he's my friend on Facebook and I post stuff on Facebook. He's probably even subscribed to my YouTube. So if I go missing people, y'all know why. Well, my boyfriend ain't gonna let me go missing. He loves me too much. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Anywho, like I always do, I'm gonna give you guys a backstory. Um, some things that happened in between on basically how I found out he was crazy and the ending, how I got out of this horrible situation. Situation. Okay. So, we're gonna call this guy Light Skin. I met this guy in the same club that I met Mr. Chocolate. So if you don't know who Mr. Chocolate is, just check in the description bar down below and you can check out my story time about the time that my side dude's side chick tried to cut. I think my eyelash came out. Don't matter though, I'm still gonna tell the story. So yes, I met him one night when I was out with my friend, my best friend at the time. I called her Toya in the last video. I did my research before I did this video. Um, called the Toya in the last video, so I was out with Toya in the club, and he saw me, and he was interested, and he decided to buy me and Toya some juice, because me and Toya wasn't old enough to buy no juice, so he bought me and Toya some juice. So that was a nice gesture of him, and he was like really, really interested in me. And I was like, cool. Now, just to let you guys know, light skin was nowhere near my type. He was light skin, he was short, he was skinny. The only thing, and he had dreads. The only thing that was, that wouldn't put him, no, nah, not even put him. The only characteristic he had that was my type is that he knew how to dance. I love guys that know how to dance. He had that characteristic. My blood clot. So that was a good thing about him, but that was the only thing that he had. So I wasn't attracted to light skin at all. But he was a really cool guy. He was really, really nice. So I was like, you know what? It ain't gonna hurt to be friends with somebody like him. Let me give him my phone number. So he asked for my number. I gave him my number. We actually exchanged numbers. And he was pretty cool. I actually liked being his friend. Now again, I liked being his friend. Now, when I met him, I let him know that I had a boyfriend and I didn't want to be anything more than friends. I repeat, when I met him, I let him know that I have a boyfriend and I didn't want to be anything more than friends, okay? And he said he got it. He said he got it. So, we're just going to fast forward to one night where he was like, how he's going to the club and he wanted me and Toya to come. So, me and Toya were like party animals i legit was partying like every other weekend from 18 all the way to 20 okay i wasted a lot of money between those ages just partying up a goddamn storm but i did it so we were in the club and no so he invited us to the party so i let him know to meet us at cross streets he met us at cross streets because one thing i learned some people just sticking at him at so the afternoon Cross streets, them nothing know where you live unless you know them already. If you don't know them already, then give them cross streets and you make them down there so never make them drop them if you drop in front of your house because you don't know what we are dealing with. See? So I gave him cross streets. He met me at the cross streets, me and a friend at the cross streets. It was him, his friend, me, and my best friend at the time. We got to the club. He let me know that he was going to do his thing, I was going to do my thing, and we was going to get back together when the thing ended when we were going home so i said cool we was gonna do our own thing anyway because you wasn't my man so you can't tell me what to do in the first place but okay so he was like we're not together we weren't together to begin with so i don't know what y'all talk about but it's all right so we get to the club me and my friend is having fun he's doing his own thing he'll come here and there to dance with me when certain songs came on and he moved, moved. When I was busting the wines, okay? So he'll pop up when I was busting the wines. So then he'll disappear. Like he was literally like Houdini. The boy would be right here and then poof, be gone. He's gone. Like it was crazy. So this chocolate young man found me and he wanted to dance with your girl. And I was like, cool. Mm, messing up my head. 
So I was like, cool, you know, you chocolate. I'm feeling you. Okay. They have I'm I'm weak for chocolate. Chocolate what? I'm weak for chocolate guy. So So he was chocolate and I was like, cool, you know, you can dance with me. We dance. And while me and this chocolate young man are dancing, light skin is in a corner watching. And if I could really show you guys how he was peeking, y'all would be. So he is a watching, just standing there watching. And I'm done dancing with the dude. The dude asked for my number. I gave it to him. I did not know that I was setting this guy up when I gave him my number. But I guess I did. So gave the boy my number. He went about his business. I actually did not see this chocolate young man for the rest of the night. And, um, you know, whatever. So towards the end of the night, um, when it's almost, the club is almost ending, it was probably like 30 minutes before the club ended. I don't know why I used to stay until the club fully ended. That was, that's a bad idea. But it was 30 minutes, the club was about to end and a fight broke out. Fights always break out in this club, so I wasn't really tainted by it or anything like that. But I looked into the crowd and I saw two guys fighting when I realized it was chocolate young man and light skin they were fighting and i didn't know why they were fighting i didn't care why they were fighting because it was none of my goddamn business but they were fighting so because light skin is so maga the security guard just flinging one side literally flinging one side just flinging, you know threw him to the side or whatever and he popped up and was just like ready to fight you know and the security guard's like all right y'all go so when he told them to go, I grabbed my things, I grabbed my friend, and I was up. So we get outside, now there's an extra friend, I don't know where him come from, but there was an extra friend. And he's still going, and they kept walking, so we started walking, me and my best friend, because they gonna walk, they mean they used to this, so we gonna walk too. Why are we gonna stand here and watch you get mad when they not even watch you get mad and they your friends? So... We followed his friends and we went to the car. We got in the car. And this young man was so angry, he started punching himself. He started punching himself, like, really hard. Like, and I'm sitting right next to him. So I had to lean over, like, on my best friend. I'll never forget this. I had to lean over on my best friend because he's legit fighting himself. And I don't want to get, like, hit in the midst of his altercation with himself. So I was just waiting until the fight was over to lean back up. Once the fight was over, you know, I was just like, okay, we need to get home. And the driver dropped us where we had to go. And I didn't answer Light Skin's phone calls anymore because I realized that he really needed help. Anybody that's willing to fight themselves needs help. So, um, I wasn't answering Light Skin's phone calls. And at, well, I still don't. I don't answer private calls i don't care who you are where you came from i don't answer private calls if you cannot show your number when you are calling me then you do not deserve to get your phone calls answered so i was not answering any private calls so he would call me from random numbers this this should have been a sign right then i should have just changed my number but i didn't so he would call me from random numbers Called me and asked me why I never answered and why I don't talk to him and blah, blah, blah. So I would just be like, you know, I'm just a busy girl, you know. Doing I wasn't being blunt with him. That was my mistake. But I was just like, I'm, you know, I'm just a busy girl. I got a lot of things going on, you know, blah, blah, blah. That was always my excuse. I'm just really, really busy. And he would always tell me, you know, I'm going to hang out again. And I'd just be like, yo, you know, I don't really got time like that. I got work. I got this. I got that. And he was like, cool you'll make time you'll make time we're gonna make time and i'm just like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i wouldn't i wouldn't like agree i'm just be like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so time went by he called me another time and i was just getting so fed up with him calling me from random numbers that i was like he was just like you keep telling me you're busy but you're not telling me what you're busy with you're telling me you have work and blah 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 like what are you really busy with so i lied <laughs> i lied to him and said that i sold weed I've never sold weed a day in my life. I smoked it a couple times, but that's neither here nor there. I never sold weed. So it was just like, 
I was just lying, thinking that he would get it. So he was just like, oh my God, don't say that on the phone. Are you crazy? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, okay, I get it now. Why are you so busy? I thought I was off the hook. So there was another night. This was the night that I met Mr. Chocolate. It was the night that I met Mr. Chocolate. Me, Toy, and Michelle went to a club, of course. He saw us there. He was our ride home. He, well, Light Skin saw us there. He told me he wanted to drop me home. I said, cool, because I didn't even want to take a cab back to Queens to begin with. So if you want to drop us back to Queens, that's perfectly fine. So um, we're in the car, and he says to his friend, yo, I want to... um." I want to stop in my house real quick. So when we get to his house, homeboy's like, yo, come with me upstairs. So I'm like. He's like, Jess, come on. So I'm like. So I look at my friends. They like, they coming with me. Yes. Birds of a feather, we flock together, honey. So they, we all got out the car and we went to his apartment building. We went to his apartment. Now I'm counting steps. I'm watching everything. I'm paying attention to the corners because if you can beat yourself up, you can clearly beat me up. So let's okay. We not go. We not go do this. Even though the three of us could have probably took him, I'm pretty sure we could have took him. No, I don't know. We could have most likely we could have took him as three of us, but you know, crazy people are strong. So never. But um. He told me he had a gift for me. He wanted me to come inside. I did not want to come inside because I was scared. So he came to the door. It was a pink little like gift bag with like pink tissue paper on top because he knew my favorite color was pink. He brought it to the door and I looked in it and it was just like body sprays and lotions and stuff and stuff from Victoria's Secret. So I was like, oh, thanks. You know, thank you. That's so sweet. We went back downstairs. Like I made this as quick as possible. I was like, let's go, lady. Got back in the elevator, went back downstairs, got in the car, he dropped us home. Okay, we all went home. Now, we was back to the whole him calling me and everything and me not answering his phone calls, him calling me from random numbers and things like that. And then, like, one day, I get he got sick of it. And when I answered the phone, he snapped. This is how I found out I was his girlfriend. He called me, he's like... I don't understand you we supposed to be together and you don't even answer my phone calls how is this supposed to work if you can't even answer my phone calls i tell my mother about you my mom wants to meet you and you're playing games how is a relationship supposed to work like this i was like how is a friendship supposed to work like this a lot of my friends i don't speak to that often we're friends he said yeah you're my girlfriend i said no we are friends he said i told my mother we are together that means we are together my mother wants to meet you so my mother has to meet you i was scared i was really scared like i was scared but when i think about it now i'm a little scared because if he see this video i might die but anyway he was like you are my girlfriend by they bought they bought i was like no i'm not your girlfriend he was like yes you are i told you my mother you're my girlfriend you're my girl so i just hung up because i was like you know what you can't tell me what to do i don't want to be a girlfriend you're not gonna make me be a girlfriend so i'm just gonna get off this phone because i don't want to be a girlfriend so hung up the phone and i wouldn't answer that number so this man called me from my mama number now why can't i find my mama number don't have my number in my mama phone because what what if she end up calling me i don't want to call my phone call my phone still so he called me from his mom's phone and he just like just stop playing with me you know like i really like you and it, in order for this relationship to work there has to be communication and you're not communicating with me on what is making you upset why would you hang up on me so i was just like yo bro light skin we are not together and i just want you to understand that we are not together and you're making this really really hard because we ain't together. So. And he was like, guess we are. You know what I did? I told him, 
he keep calling my phone. I'm gonna call my boyfriend. And he was like, call her. I was like, you know what, light skin? We're done. We are done. Don't call my phone no more. Don't, don't check for me no more. Don't do nothing. We are no longer together. And he was like, cool. See you. <laughs> see you with temptations next week. I legit did not see him after that altercation, after us breaking up. But he did find me on Facebook. Um, I don't know if he has me on Instagram, but he did find me on Facebook. He's my friend on Facebook. So, um, hey, light skin, how are you? Don't kill me. <laughs> So yeah, this was the time about the time I didn't know I was in a relationship, but I was in a relationship for a little minute. I didn't even know about it. And um, the guy was crazy, obviously. If you guys like this story time, just click that thumbs up. Um, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Oh, and on Periscope, if you guys did watch my Periscope, because a lot of you didn't. Um, I did tell you guys the two days that I would be posting videos, but guess what? I'm not gonna tell you. Uh huh. Because you should have been watching my Periscope. Uh huh. <laughs> no, be in the description bar down below what two days I will be posting my videos from now on. All right. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.